Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asian Newsline. I am Skarin Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking you for you on Wednesday, the 29th of April. India's Punjab province extends lockdown by two more weeks. Three killed in suicide bombing in Afghanistan's Kabul province. And Bollywood star Irfan Khan dies aged 53. And now for all the details, India's tally of COVID-19 case reached 31,332 while the number of deaths breached the 1,000 mark on Wednesday. Amid the ongoing lockdown imposed to curb the spread of coronavirus that ends on May 3rd, Chief Minister of Punjab Province announced the curfew in its province has been extended by two more weeks. The total number of novel coronavirus cases climbed to 31,332 on Wednesday, while COVID-19 deaths in India crossed the 1,000 mark, according to India's health ministry. The tally is inclusive of 22,629 active coronavirus cases, 7,695 patients who have been cured or discharged, and one patient migrated. Meanwhile, as India remains in lockdown to curb the spread of coronavirus, Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh announced on Wednesday that the lockdown in his province has been extended by two more weeks. He said that the lockdown will be lifted from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. every day, during which the shops will be open and people can come out of their houses to shop. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier on Monday interacted with chief ministers of provinces and discussed the staggered exit strategy from the country-wide lockdown. Almost all the provinces had recommended an extension of lockdown as the cases of COVID-19 in the country continue to rise. Three terrorists were neutralized by security forces in an encounter in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday. There has been a series of skirmishes between security forces and terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir over the past week. Security forces neutralized three terrorists during an encounter in Shopian district of India's Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday. A joint team of the Indian Army, Police and the Paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force launched a search operation in Zainapura area in Shopian on Tuesday, following which the gunfight began. The terrorists were gunned down in retaliatory fire. Operations were still underway till the last reports came in. There have been a series of skirmishes between security forces and terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir over the past week. On Monday, at least three terrorists were gunned down in a similar encounter in Kulgam district. The Kashmir Valley is currently under shutdown after Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi ordered a nationwide lockdown till May 3rd to prevent the spread of coronavirus. In news from Afghanistan, at least three people were killed and several wounded in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan's Kabul province on Wednesday. No group had claimed responsibility for the attack till the last reports came in. A suicide bombing in Afghanistan's Kabul province killed three people and wounded 15 on Wednesday, the Ministry of Interior confirmed. A suicide bomber detonated his explosives among civilians in Reshkhor area of Char Asyab district of Kabul on Wednesday morning, Ministry of Interior spokesman Tari Karyan said in a statement referring to the district which is about seven miles from Kabul city. The attack took place close to the gate of the Special Operations Unit in the district. Mm -hmm. 
دولت تحت تامین به حساب بکنه او لیکومو نه بگنه ما به یک جای امنیت میریم سای نظامی تا ایشو ساز زندگی بکنه دیگه ما به کلی به جان اومدیم خدا یکیش ایت واز نات امیدیتلی کلیر هو واز ریسپونسیبل فور دی بلاست ویچ کیم ڈورینگ دی اسلامک هولی منت اف رمضان And as the coronavirus pandemic and U.S.-led efforts to broker peace talks between the insurgent Taliban and the Afghan government have left many calling for a ceasefire and reduction in violence. The Financial Action Task Force on Tuesday gave a four-month reprieve to Pakistan for meeting a deadline to counter terror financing due to COVID-19 crisis. Pakistan has been on FATF's grey list since 2018. Pakistan on Tuesday got a four-month reprieve for meeting a deadline set by the Financial Action Task Force or FATF to counter terror financing as the multilateral watchdog announced a temporary suspension of its activities because of the COVID-19 crisis. The Paris-based anti-terror financing watchdog, however, said in a statement that there would be no let-up in its efforts to fight money laundering and terror financing and that it would actively monitor the impact of the COVID-19 crisis on measures to counter illicit financing. Pakistan has been on FATF's grey list of monitored jurisdictions since June 2018 for failing to counter terror financing, especially by groups such as Lashkar-e-Taiba, Jaish-e-Mohammed and Haqqani Network. Pakistan's performance was to be assessed at review meetings to be held in Beijing from June 21 to 26. The review is now expected to be done in October. A FATF plenary meeting in February had warned Pakistan that it had failed to meet deadlines for a 27-point action plan. As Pakistan battles COVID-19 this year, one of the country's most popular Ramadan television game show has been muted by the lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic. With safety regulations in place, live studio audiences cannot gather for the sort of television spectacles that attracted many viewers. One of Pakistan's most popular Ramadan television game show host, Amir Liaqat Hussain, anchors a program that airs live daily, giving away gold bars, new cars and even an orphan baby to large number of audiences on set. But this year, the show has been muted by the lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic with not a prize in sight and a smaller studio set with empty seats for guests. Safety regulations implemented by the government mean Live studio audiences cannot gather for the sort of television spectacles that attracted many viewers, but producers say they will try to adapt. They had an engagement zone with the transmission. They had an important role play in the Inamaat. Now, as we know that the situation of the corona is already in the situation, already every person is taking you to isolation, has taken care of quarantine and has taken care of it. कोशिश की जा रही है और सबको बताया जा रहा है कि आप लोगों ने सादा जिंदगी की तरफ वापस आना है तो जब ये सारी चीजें हर इंसान के ऊपर लागू हो रही है तो इसी तरह हम बाकी लोगों का भी जो है जो ट्रांसमिशन्स हैं उसको भी सादगी की साइट पे ज्यादा लेके गया है लेके गया जाया गया है The largest chunk of television ad spending is done during the month of Ramadan as hours long shows blend advertisement and piety and sponsors pay lucrative sums for stage time. But people won't see the kind of rambunctious shows they saw before because advertising companies are not spending as much. The first budget was not the budget. They have been reduced a little bit. They have been reduced a little bit. They have been reduced a little bit. موجودہ حالات کی بنا پہ جو اس وقت ملکی حالات ہے جو دنیا عالم میں جو اس وقت جو سیچویشن چل رہی ہے وہ ایسی نہیں ہے کہ ہم نمود و نمائش زیادہ کریں The mood in the aftermath of the coronavirus is decidedly different this Ramadan in Pakistan where experts say infections could peak in May The number of coronavirus cases in Pakistan top 13,000 this week including 281 deaths Moving on Frequent load shedding amid the coronavirus lockdown has increased troubles for residents in the illegally occupied region of Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Locals blame this seems a new law that Islamabad has stooped to it in order to harass them. 
power outages amid coronavirus lockdown have increased troubles for residents in the illegally occupied region of Pakistan administered Kashmir. The pandemic has already taken away the meager income the locals would earn, but now they are forced to leave confined to their homes where there is no electricity. A resident in Hatia Bala area said, despite presence of power stations, nearby villages and the markets never get enough electricity. The main bazaar is a little bit load shedding. It's a lot of load shedding. Locals have time and again accused Pakistan of meting out a stepmotherly treatment to the illegally occupied region. They blame this, however, seems a new law that Islamabad has stooped to in order to harass them. In extremely sad news, Irfan Khan, an Indian film star, who brought a modern sensibility to recent hit movies and featured in several Hollywood films, died on Wednesday at 53. Irfan was admitted in the Mumbai hospital due to a colon infection. Actor Irfan Khan died on Wednesday in Kokila Bain Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital in India's Mumbai city, where he was being treated for a colon infection. A statement released by his family said, that Khan spent his final hours surrounded by his love, his family, for whom he most cared about. Irfan Khan, one of Indian cinema's most respected thespians, battled a tumour for several months and returned to Mumbai some months ago, after being treated in London. He is survived by his wife Sutapa and two sons. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Bollywood megastar Amitabh Bachchan led the tributes to the industry's most versatile actor. People from all walks of life, including actors and politicians, condoled his death. Irfan Khan was last seen in Angrezi Medium, which released a little over a week before the coronavirus lockdown was imposed in India. His movie credits include internationally acclaimed offerings such as The Lunchbox, Slumdog Millionaire and the Hollywood blockbuster Jurassic World. As coronavirus cases continue to spike in India, Artists have come up with their own ways of creating awareness and urging people to follow lockdown rules. From being dressed as Hindu god of death Yamraj or coronavirus monster, these artists are scaring people, telling them to stay at home or else they'll face the dead and get infected by the virus. With the number of coronavirus cases increasing in India each day, more and more artists are coming up with their own ways of creating awareness and urging people to follow lockdown rules. Artists dressed as Hindu god of death Yamraj, accompanied by another artist dressed as coronavirus monster and others were seen roaming on the streets of northern Aligarh city on Monday as they scared people and told them to stay at home or else they will face death and get infected by the virus. This is अपने अलीगढ़ शहर में 14 केस पॉजिटिव आए हैं उसी चीज को देख देखते हुए हम लोगों टीम ने एक नाटक मंचन के रूप में एक यहां पब्लिक को समझाने का कार्य किया है जिसमें कि मैं यमराज मेरे साथी चित्रगुप्त कोरोना रूपी राक्षस दरोगा जी और आपका डॉक्टर साहब सफाई कर्मी सभी पूरी टीम को साथ में लेकर के जनता को जागरूक कर रहे हैं मीनवाइल Artists in Surat city of India's western Gujarat province have joined the fight against the deadly contagion by making murals, creating awareness about coronavirus and urging people to stay at home to prevent the pandemic from spreading. Graffiti spread on a white road in Surat city show colourful microscopic version of coronavirus, mask and home. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi ordered the country's 1.3 billion people to remain indoors until May 3 saying that was the only hope to stop the pandemic. Coronavirus has so far infected more than 31,000 people in India. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.